remember my first couple years when we would have a tornado drill or any kind of safety drill, we would actually go out into the hallway. Our students would put books over their heads. And then we graduated into the bathroom. In my last couple years of teaching, we actually had a tornado warning and I had to spend two hours in a bathroom full of 25 fifth graders. Our district is made up of pre-K through 12. We have 725 students and 90 staff members. To me, the biggest thing as an administrator was always, when do you release them out of class? When do you go into the hallways? When do you go to a safer place? Because every time there's a warning, there's not a tornado. You're taking them out of class for two hours and nothing ever happens. So that's always been a, a major issue with me as the superintendent to say, when do we go? The concerns I've had in the past about an active shooter on school campus is, number one, the ease of access to most any public school, just, you know, to drive up on campus, walk up on campus. The other thing was if we did have a shooter on campus, where would we go? Where would the students hide? Where would the staff hide? Because the classrooms are wide open. We were looking at building a safe room my issue with the safe room is, again, you have to relocate. How much time does it take? As far as an active shooter, the safe room's not a good situation. You don't want everyone in one place. National Safety Shelters sells a dual-purpose, above-ground tornado shelter that's also bulletproof. What's so great about an in-classroom safety shelter is that not only does it work with the methods you may already have, but it's giving teachers and students immediate protection right in the classroom, whether you're dealing with a tornado or an active shooter. One of the things that impressed me about the shelters is the design. They're like a modular building. You can design them to fit, I would think, almost any situation. We have some classrooms that we put them in the corner so they are an L shape. We have some that we put in like a storage room so they are wider and not as long. And then in the cafeteria, we actually put one that I refer to as T-Rex and it will hold probably all of our elementary if we wanted to squeeze everyone in there. I feel like I can just go into any of them. I can walk into any classroom and be able to go in them. I don't have to go into one specific shelter. I really thought I was gonna be claustrophobic, but you're really not. And you do have breathing room and elbow room. I feel safer here than I would at home. When I come to school, I don't have to worry about, am I gonna get hurt or something? Back before we had the shelters, the teachers, they just had to work with what they had, whether it be a tornado and, and getting underneath a desk or you know the absolute worst and just huddling in a corner. They were still scared. But now that we have these shelters, it's so much safer for them and gives them and us peace of mind. One of the big reasons that I wanted to come here and to bring my children here is because I knew that they would be safe. And you know, while I want them to learn and, and grow academically, the most important thing to me is their safety. I've had several students come up to me and say, Mr. Kutcher, thank you so much for the safe shelters. I feel much safer coming to school now knowing that whether it's a tornado, active shooter, or anything, that I'm gonna be able to be in a safe place in our classroom. And as a principal, it's comforting to know that our students are safe no matter what happens.